Hello everyone, welcome. It's uh, Saturday, April 13, 2024, uh, and I'm back with another stream today to stream a uh, workshop add-on for Entropy 02. Um, get a little background music here. There we go. Um, so I'm really excited to play this. I saw this pop up in the Steam Workshop. It's a map by uh, Allant, who's someone active on the Entropy 02 uh, Discord. And the screenshots look great. The concept looks really cool. So I really wanted to give it a playthrough and, uh, uh, you know, show my live reaction to the add-on. Uh, hello, Concordia Willows. Thanks for joining. Uh, hello, Mozzarella. Hi, Lynn. Uh, I was thinking of other ideas for streams, like discussions of things happening in the gaming industry. I think, I'm not sure how comfortable I would be talking about the gaming industry as a whole, uh, you know, because I I don't work in games, right? So I'm I'm a I'm a consumer. I don't know if I'd be any more comfortable if I did work in the games industry, though. Like, if I worked there, then it would be like work. So if I, you know, I might not be comfortable talking about it. If I, since I don't work there, I feel like I'm ignorant and I don't have like an insider perspective that would be interesting. So I don't think that's the kind of thing I would really talk about. Uh, like you mentioned, uh, Take Two buying Gearbox. I actually didn't hear about that. And I don't really have an opinion, you know, I don't know very much about that. So I don't want to talk about things that I don't, uh, you worked on a game. Well, no, I mean, yeah, it's, a, but it's a free game. <laughs> That's not really the games industry. It's uh, you know, it's a mod. Um, uh, hey, what up? You asked me to remind you about my map when you would do workshop streams. Okay. I can't guarantee that I'll play that today. Um, because this stream is set up for revision chapter one, but actually let me subscribe to your add-on and I might be able to play it uh, after revision, depending on how long it takes. Um, what is it called again, Mozzarella? Offline, yeah, let me look that up. Uh, Cause I would love to play that. Um, oops. Offline. Uh, what about general discussion streams? I don't think I'd be very comfortable with that. Um, I don't know. I feel like it would get very boring very quickly, to be honest. Um, I think this is more interesting because uh, revision chapter one is something that I can talk about and respond to that I feel like I would have uh, an, an opinion on that could be insightful. There's a lot of things that I don't know, you know, and I don't really want to try to have opinions about things if I don't feel like I can contribute to the discussion. Um, whereas with something like revision, I feel like I can actually comment on it and give my thoughts and, and have like kind of a productive discussion. Um, so, and another thing I wanted to address with these streams is um, if there's comments in the chat that are off topic to what the stream is about, um, I might respond to them. If it's something that is interesting or I feel like I can have a conversation about but if there's off-topic questions that don't have to do with the stream and I don't really have any any sort of opinion on or any any thoughts to share, there's not really anything I can do with with those kinds of comments. So if I, you know, if I see questions that aren't related to the stream or related to a topic that uh, I know about, I might not be able to answer them. Uh, what are your thoughts on Half-Life Hostile Takeover? That was the cancel expansion from, from way back, like, uh, late 90s, early 2000s, right? Like the Team Fortress kind of thing. I don't think we know enough information about it to, to really do a lot with. I think it's very interesting. I think it would be cool to see, like, that, that take on the Half-Life universe, especially from, like, early Half-Life, um... Uh, I also think uh, the concept of allied processing, like the more industrial company that's a uh, like a counterpart to Black Mesa, sounds really cool. And I'd like to see that brought back in mods. Hi, Matinos Burritos. Welcome. Thanks for joining. So right now I brought up the Steam page for uh, Revision Chapter 1. I wanted to kind of look through the description before I play. Um, I'm really interested in the story behind this. I think the concept is really cool. Um... So we've got a, a quote from In-Universe here. Um, this mod contains full armed rebels that can use grenades and weapon alt fire. Semi-connection to the third party from other mods. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I'm very interested in it. Um, recommended difficulty normal. I'm going to play it on hard. Um, if I die a lot, that will be my fault. So I guess we can take note of that right now. Um, 
this seems like a bug that I need to fix on GitHub. Maybe I need to open a, an issue. Uh, and the captions was a bug that I was interested in. I did play through a little bit of this before stream, full disclosure, uh, like a few days ago, to try to see if the captions would work. Um, I understand that the dialogue in this add-on is in Chinese, um, and localization is really hard. Like, I don't think localization should be the expectation for mods like this, so if the captions don't work, that's fine. We'll, we'll do our best to make sense of the story, but I might not be able to um, make sense of what the characters are saying. I'm also interested, it kind of seems like there's going to be a tie-in with Snowdrop Escape, and that's something I really would like to see because I think it's cool to think that all these different Half-Life 2 mods kind of exist in a shared universe, and there might be crossovers or things like that. Uh, so I'm really excited. Um, this map pack made me sweat. <laughs> yeah, that's. I guess that's going to make me sweat in a few minutes. Uh, how am I doing? I'm doing great. Uh, busy week. Um, I feel like I've had some busy days, but the weekend has been pretty good so far, so I'm, I'm just happy to be here. Uh, Blixabon says... Oh, hi, Blixabon. Blixabon says, uh, the Metro Cops from third party on Run Think Shoot Live discreetly escaped to Arbite. You know, that could be an add-on. Also, thanks for joining. Uh, one of the guys who worked on Hostile Takeover has a build. I would be very interested to see that. Um, I don't know, not suggesting leaks, but it would be, it would be interesting to see what that looks like, especially because it was from such an early point in time before a lot of the Half-Life 2 ideas were around. Um, have you ever thought about giving Entropy Zero a dub? Uh, we have talked a lot about Easy 2 localization. It's very difficult because like for me, my, my concern is like, we don't have a good way to test the localizations. It's like, I don't speak any of the languages that we would want to localize into. So it's difficult for me to give feedback of like, is this working? Is this not working? Um, uh, I'm really impressed by all the community localizations, the workshop add-ons. It's really awesome to see that people are taking the time to translate um, because that's not something that I'm really capable of and something that the team wants to do, but hasn't really been able to. Glad to hear that. Yeah, thanks. I think I am going to uh, start up the game pretty soon. Um, yeah. I was hoping that uh, Ellen, the uh, map creator, would join, but I realized I didn't really publicize the stream enough, so that's probably my mistake. Uh, like, I didn't uh, put the universal time on the uh, announcement or anything like that. So I'm going to make a note of that in the future for if I do workshop playthroughs like this, I should be uh, more cognizant about letting the creator know like when and where I'll be streaming. Because uh, if they could join, it would be cool. If they can't, totally understandable. I'm not sure about time zones and if it's even a remotely reasonable time to begin with. Um, but yeah, uh, without further ado, I'm going to change the Twitch category and start the game. I'd like to. There we go. Um, by the way, are my audio levels okay? Uh, let me know if the game is too quiet or if the game is too loud or if I'm too loud. Um, any feedback would be appreciated because it's hard for me to tell. Uh, especially because I'm not sure if my settings are fully correct after I set up the new PC. Speaking of settings, I should have checked my graphics settings before I hopped in. something about Source Engine Water. I just really like scenes like this, like docks. I would say as far as cutscenes go, this is pretty tastefully done. You know, just having a cutscene at the, at, the, at the intro, the outset. That's me. 
So I'm guessing we are another clone of Bad Cop in this story. Okay, so we got our squad. Um, I do notice that the fog settings seem a little strange. Like, this is entirely in fog, the, the mountain range, which is probably intended, but it does make it look a little bit flat. Also, the sky texture is kind of different. Like, I wonder if that was intentional. It kind of works with the setting sun. I like the blue color. I don't know. This is really interesting. I like to imagine that this dock is maybe part of uh, Lake Turngate from uh, Entropy Zero Two, because uh, we only see a little like we call it a lake, even though it's more like a pond in Easy Two. But it looks like there's more to the lake than what we actually see, so maybe this is like the other part of it, or maybe this is somewhere else completely. I don't know. Um, let me check my settings before I go any further. Personally, I don't like maps where you play as bad cop. Why is that? Um, I think this is all good. Is that not very high? Oh, you're kidding me. Okay. Um, closed captions. That yeah, should be good. The combine replaced the sun with the citadel core. Yeah, I'm wondering, like, what would make the sun look blue like that? I think it looks very, like, atmospheric. I like it. I like the the lighting from it, but it, it, it just makes me curious because I've never seen, like, a blue sun. Creature crates. I love this little decal on the creature crate. Um, it was something that when, when uh, Kralik made the asset he put there, I don't... I think it's too, like, compressed to actually read it, but the text originally in the source file was legible. Poor baby, bull squid. Ooh. Oh, that was the bug that was mentioned on the Steam Store page. That's interesting. That might be something for us to fix. Um, I think it's interesting that these creature crates have the earth adapted creatures in them the uh, Arctic bull squid and fast head crabs. Hi, Ellen. Welcome. I'm playing your map. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> I'm really excited to play it. I saw the screenshots on the uh, uh, Steam Workshop, and I was just really interested to try it out. You almost forgot this. Oh, the stream? Yeah, sorry. I, I'm not very good at like publicizing uh, these things, so I might not have been very clear about the timing, but I'm glad you could make it. So full disclosure, Ellen, I did already play through uh, part of this because I wanted to see if the captions were working for me or not. But it turns out there aren't any captions until a little like later on, so I didn't I didn't play too too far in. Um. Oh hey, Ellen. By the way, did you update this workshop add-on recently? Like, since uh, a couple days ago. I think maybe these cube maps didn't get rebuilt. Because this looks a lot shinier than it did when I played before. No, this cube map is fine. I'm wrong. Just didn't remember. You're playing the very first version? No, I just uh, I just updated the workshop add-on uh, right before stream. So I, I, I had subscribed to it earlier in the week. Um, and I tried it out. And then I... Uh, Today I actually unsubscribed, cleared my uh, workshop add-ons, and then resubscribed, just to be sure. So this should be the latest version. If you think that I'm not playing the latest version, let me know. But this should be up to date. Nice use of projected textures. Oh, Barnacle got him. What did I see incoming? Are there rebels around? 
Head crab side slam. Yeah, I noticed that too. I'm not sure what was going on there. I like these barrel props. I'm not familiar with these. You didn't you don't play it on hard. I actually am playing it on hard. Uh don't worry. It, it's I'm I take full responsibility if I die a lot. Uh, and I will drop the difficulty if I need to. Uh, but uh, so I, I understand that it was optimized for normal difficulty. So I'm I'm playing on hard, but we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I totally understand it was designed for normal. I like there's a lot of props that I'm noticing that are custom props around. I think that was one of the soldiers using an SMG grenade. I think you're right, actually. It is interesting. One of the new AR twos. Nice. Hmm. Nothing in here. Was that a husk? Wait, where? Wait, I didn't. See, am I blind? I'm sorry. I didn't see any husk. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Good catch, Blixabon. I need to pay more attention to what I'm playing. Um, I hear a temporal crab. I kind of want to find that just to see. Okay. There we go. There he is. Where did it go? I think I missed something over in the other area, but I got kind of distracted by... It's gone. Okay. There's some reports that it's really suffering on hard mode, so you added the disclaimer. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to add disclaimers like that to the workshop add-on, just to give people as much information as you can. Um, so I, I fully understand that it might be too difficult. Uh, and if it does get too difficult, I'm going to drop the difficulty down. I feel like there has to be something in here that I missed, because this room, like... There can't just be nothing in here, right? I like all these props. There can't just be nothing, like... What did I miss? Can I shoot these? Okay. I guess I didn't miss anything. Hello, I'm Blixabon. Are, are you, what? Was that actually from you, Mozzarella? Wait, let me scroll up. No, Blix also said, was that a husk? Okay. I thought maybe I got mixed up because you're both on Twitch and so there's no uh, pictures. That's kind of weird that it doesn't show me pictures for Twitch. I mean, there are no... Yeah, I guess that isn't weird. There aren't any. You probably don't have any pictures. I don't know what I'm saying. Oop. I like the purple light. I accidentally dropped two slams. Oh, that's what I needed. It's the slams. Okay, now I understand. Okay. I got it. I, I don't know why, but I'm a little slow today. Get going. Get going. The classic Barney following AI problem. <laughs> why? So, like, I, he clearly has a path. I know that you didn't mess up the nodes because they've been navigating around. Like, what? Okay, now he's going. Now he's going. There we go. Okay. I'm taking point. Taking point. Hi, Cheese Dreamer. Welcome. Boom. New rebels. Oh, she's got a revolver. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna start over. True half like one moment. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we got this. I'm stuck on a rock. Oh, I... oh. 
I think I hit the person with the revolver with the air two ball, so I don't get a revolver then. That's very unlucky. I think they use some space in here. The locker is like right next to the bed, so it's like, yeah. Clever. Old newspapers. I wonder what the newspaper says. Can't read that. <laughs> oh, source engine. Had the same issue in a later segment. It's weird because I know that the, the paths are okay. Could have gotten the revolver earlier. Wow. I'm not, uh... I'm really messing up this playthrough already. I'm sure there'll be more chances. Post up here? Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, I want to check out that area, but I should clear these guys first. I'm going to run out of ammo because I keep using the combine balls on enemies, the energy balls. I wonder if that's an area that we'll go to later. I like the detailing here. Okay. cheap. Move up. Ooh, we got the, um, uh, the cork boards. I think I saw the other cork board on my first playthrough, too. You can finally read this one, because it's illuminated. It's the same thing I said in, um, what was the last workshop map I played? Uh, I'm drawing a blank on the name. I think Aperture Zero had it too. Aperture Zero and um, uh, uh, the Valentine's Day one. I don't remember what it's called. Poker. So far, so good. Self-execution. Yes. I'm sorry. I completely, completely blanked on the name of self-execution there. I'm interested in what this means. I read that text. I wonder if that will be important later. Hmm. I feel like this is gonna be an ambush. door isn't going to open, right? Yeah, okay. He's posted up on a door that we can't we can't breach. So I remember from my this is about how far I played on my first like trial run, and I remember there was an uh, like an M4 around here. I wanted to give it to one of the soldiers. But I don't know if it spawned this time. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I know that's kind of meta because I didn't notice it on this playthrough, but just wanted to do that because that's cool. Although now he can't use um, SMG grenades anymore. So maybe that might have been more of a nerf than anything. This map pack is pretty hard. I had to replay certain sections a few times. I think we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna be okay today. But um, you know, if it gets too hard, I will turn the difficulty down. Stay there. Okay, these guys need to go here. It's a random whiteboard lol. I don't know what I I I wanna I wanna understand the lore implications of the whiteboard. This whiteboard is very important for the plot.
Oh, 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 danger close. That was unlucky. Gamer moment. Ooh. I want to see what the soldiers do now that I'm dead. Ooh, got him. This guy might make it. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so this time I'm not gonna mess up the grenade throw. Section gave me trouble, so be warned. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be okay. I got. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna be okay. Hi, Breadman. Welcome. Thanks for joining. I'm playing through a workshop map today. Uh, I can post a map I'm working on in Discord if you want to have a lore aneurysm. Sure. I don't. I don't think it'll bother me. Whatever it is. See, I'm doing great. I haven't died even once. Uh oh. Oh, that guy got a gun. Okay. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Brad Man. It's good to see you here. This map is called, uh, what is this map called? Revision Chapter 1. Uh, it's a new workshop map by Ellen uh, in the Discord. Ooh. Don't ask Breadman when Entropy 03 is. I, I see you in the chat. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a difficult fight. I'm not turning the difficulty down yet, though. I know I said I would, but like, we're gonna we're gonna try this one more time. One more time, okay? Yeah, I think you'd really like a lot of the workshop maps. Um, if you... Oop. Sorry. Just, there we go. Um, I would recommend Self-Execution and uh, Aperture Zero. Those are two that I played through pretty recently that were both really, really good. And I'd, I mean, I'd recommend a lot of other ones too. Uh, there's so many good maps on the workshop right now. It's kind of fun to play an Entropy Zero map that you know, that we, we didn't have a hand in, you know, to see what other people make. It's like finally getting to uh, play Easy 2 blind for the first time. <laughs> Someday. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Jot those down. Yeah, for sure. Um, I should double check if all the workshops are, uh, add-ons are categorized correctly. Because you could do, like, uh, just list all single-player add-ons and sort by most subscribed or something like that. But uh, I sh we should also make, like, a list, like a pl uh, play these maps list. We had one before, but then now there's new maps. <laughs> I'm just really happy to see that the community is still active making maps. Um, it's, it's just very rewarding to see that. That was our curse, wasn't it? I I did the streamer thing just now where I forgot the last thing I said, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means.
Oh, our, our curse was uh, not being able to play our own game because we made it. Yeah, no, absolutely. Exactly. Oh, I don't think I should hide behind an item crate. It's interesting to see these rebels using more weapons than what we had before. What is this? Southwestern Disposal. Interesting. Interesting. This is a Portal 1 prop that we didn't use. So glad we did the whole workshop thing. Oh, I'm so glad. Uh, it's it's so amazing to see the creativity of so many different people. This feels a lot like Black Mesa. I actually like this. This is probably what... Oh, chapter 2 map 4 should have looked like. Gordagants. Oh. We've got Gordon Freeman. I know it's not actually Gordon Freeman. Oh, he surrendered. I don't think you should surrender if you've got armor. <laughs> but okay. I'm just gonna go arrest him. Oh. That was sneaky. Get down. Get down. Five years of easy two every single day. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we got more. Where's Where's Gordon Freeman going? And yeah, it does look like a Black Mesa Source asset. I believe the free version of Black Mesa Source has assets are like you're allowed to use them in mods and stuff. I don't think we ever would in easy two because since it's a commercial game now, I, I think it might be kind of awkward to try to use those assets in a in a mod published on Steam. But for workshop add-ons, I do think that's within, like, Black Mesa's policy that you can use those. Paper, no, I prefer computer. So true. So true, bestie. He has an HEV suit, please. <laughs> oh, did they just kill him? What the? What? <laughs> what? No. Oh, we lost the M16 guy, too. Uh, this, uh, used the assets from Black Mesa. He's trying to find his crowbar. The mod version doesn't have an HEV suit model. Oh. That's weird. Uh, I hope I don't lose any more squad mates. I'll be mad if they die while I'm just hunting for items down here. I think this is a Left 4 Dead prop. I really like it. There's so many good props in Source Engine games. A lot of mods only really use the uh, stock Half-Life 2 props. Don't die. They're gonna die. Hey, guys, stop. We're, we're item hunting. Calm down. Do I have... Oh, okay. Wait, where are the enemies? Let's see if I can just kind of... There we go. The direct reference is Antarctic Science. Is that a mod? When Bat Blast release? Stop asking about release dates. That is, I guess that is a good question though. Yeah, I'm not super familiar with Ant Antarctic Science. AR2 is probably better than the M16, so I'm going to leave that. No! 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 <laughs> okay. I guess the shotgunner has an M16 now. October this year. Ooh, that's exciting. That's going to be so awesome when you have a, a launch, a Steam Store page launch for it. That's another milestone, you know, because that's, that's going to be your first uh, paid game on Steam. It's a weird mod, don't touch it. Okay. Cola Bola. <laughs> Alpine Hue. <laughs> I love, I love like off brands in video games where they can't use the actual name. Alpine Hue is, that's gotta be my favorite. Like I want like an actual knockoff called Alpine Hue. I would drink that. Scared to death, aw. I think, I think it's going to be great. Uh, so far, it's coming together really well. I, like the the gameplay is so polished. You know the way 
everything works. Um, I haven't played enough of it yet. I, I really feel like I should have played more, but uh, from what I have played, I you know, I think you made something really great. Okay, this trip mine unfortunately didn't go off. This feels like an ambush. Maybe not, because I think my guy's already cleared it out. Yeah, of course. Oh, there we go. Okay. Never mind. Gotta check my corners. Uh, this reminded me a lot of Aperture Zero when I played this area. Yeah, I, I can feel that. Like, the not just the environments, but like the encounter design feels a lot like it. Uh, what's your favorite uh, movie? Uh, oh, boy. I hate, I hate questions like that because, you know, I don't know what my absolute favorite is. Uh, maybe uh, it's got to be like uh, maybe Empire Strikes Back or Alien. I'm going to go with one of those, but... I don't know, it's kind of a tricky question. Like, I feel like I like different movies in different ways. Like, there's some more recent movies that maybe would be a better choice for a favorite, but... I don't know. Um, gotta say, though, I do miss Aiden and Wilson. Me too. A lot. Uh, I want to get back into the swing of uh, working on things. It's so hard to find time now. I get so distracted, pulled in so many different directions. Like, this week I didn't get a whole lot of project stuff done, because, um, work was really stressful, and then I've been playing a lot of Helldivers 2. That's kind of a big, uh, a big distraction. Is this door gonna open? Okay, here we go. Oh, hi. Combine jump scare. Back into the swing of that thing. Yeah, exactly. And the same. Yeah, it kind of feels like we're all in the same boat. It's like there's, you know, we've all kind of been pulled into different things and life. Ooh, we got a radio box. Okay, wait outside, guys. I'm interested to hear this. So I probably won't be able to understand um, the audio, but hopefully the captions will work for this. I haven't received any messages from them for a long time. At first, they talked face-to-face -face with us, then they just delivered their messages with that AI called GLaDOS, and now they've kept silent. I really doubt if something happened to them. I think the last one was more like, uh, I really wonder if something happened to them, or I'm, I'm worried something happened to them. This is interesting, though, because this is talking about when GLaDOS took over. Um, I'm interested. Want to hear more? One of the Helldivers streams soon. I mean, would that be interesting for you guys? Like, isn't everybody streaming Helldivers? You know, I, I like streaming stuff like this because nobody else is streaming Revision Chapter 1, and they should be, you know, so I want to I wanna be the change. But uh, Helldivers is so popular, you know, it's like, just go play it. I don't know if you want to watch me play it. <laughs> Hi, Agent Golem. Thanks for joining. I like how the light turned on when the new soldier appeared. I know, it's so cinematic. Uh, in this part, combines are afraid of elevator. We'll, we'll see about that. How's everyone doing? I'm doing great. Oh, this guy's stuck. Look at him go. Okay. Um, I like this. There, somebody was just having, having a little lunch break over here. I like this door. This is... I, I notice things like that because this isn't a door texture that's in Half-Life 2. Oh, here's the elevator. Let me just post up. Nice meeting room. 
wonder what kinds of meetings they had in here. It would be cool if there was a recording box in here, because it feels like a natural place for it. Desecrating the Arbite employee who ruined his life. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, I'm scared if I go in the elevator that they uh, that it'll close. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna go in the elevator, and you're gonna go in the elevator. I'm doing that classic Half-Life One Barney following you thing. I think every Half-Life game has had well, not Half-Life Alex, but like Half-Life One and Half-Life Two both have this. You have to shuffle the NPCs around. I'm propering all my door frames. That would be... I mean, do you, do you need a model for it, though? Because, oh, the command marker just disappeared. Because um, usually a door frame is just going to be a couple brushes, right? I mean, unless you have really detailed ones, that could be kind of cool. Since you guys mentioned GLaDOS in the Arbite comms log, I added the record to show some Arbite employers uh, doubt the GLaDOS had taken over Aperture. Oh... I think that's really interesting, and we never really hear about GLaDOS directly in the game in Easy 2, so I think it's it's very cool to sort of bring the Arbite comm logs more into uh, into the game. So that's some, some unexplored lore. There's uh, seven plus skins for doors. Oh, so you're making the door frames match the skins of the door, right? So you can select both of them and change the skin? That's kind of cool. Get, get, get out of there. Get get out of there. I might be here forever, guys. I'm sorry. We're not leaving until this soldier leaves this elevator. Okay, you know what? Okay. Uh, mm, okay, so... Okay, so... Wait, so... Uh, oh, come on. Thought that might work. That's not going to work because he doesn't have a way to pathfind. Okay. This is going to be problematic. Okay. Get, go. Go. Here, here's an idea. Okay. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Pro gamer move. Oh. I want to investigate this area first. Is there anything behind this door that I can see? A dock area. There's some pit drones out there. I hear a bull squid. Some boats. Interesting. Anything in here? This looks a lot like, uh, like the server room in the warehouse area. I was kind of uh, looking for another radio box, but I don't think we have one yet. Um, AI navigation on moving object is always a tough issue. It totally is. Um, sometimes you have to force nodes active. Uh, and yeah, it's but it's really difficult. Um, imagine if you try to open a door and it just adds the door to your squad. <laughs> Tried my best, but they always stuck, which made me mad. Yeah, it's not easy. Um, maybe... Yeah, there's there's a few things you can do, but it's it's not always gonna work. So I I totally understand your pain because I've I've dealt with that before. I'm gonna save. I like the volumetrics. That didn't work so well. This map looks great. It doesn't it? I, I love the detailing in Ellen's maps. Great use of volu volumetrics. Yeah, absolutely. Looks so cool. It's funny because Source Engine pulled off effects like that with just a, a very simple, you know, it's just like a model with a transparent texture, translucent texture, 
right? It's not an actual, like, simulated volumetric effect. Oh, the drone. What the? What even got me? What the? Okay. Brute medics. Oh, I didn't even notice. I was kind of distracted trying to fight. Oh. Whoa. Rush that guy. That was not a smart idea. Okay, here's what. Okay, new tactic. Okay. I think I'm gonna. These guys stay here, right? Creature crate. Wait, why? Why? Why didn't the rebels attack the temporal crab? Uh, creature crate. There we go. Get some infighting. Okay. That wasn't good. I got one bullet. Not very effective. Stay back, stay back. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Back in the Gold Source days, it would just be a brush. Yeah, I love those brush volumetrics that you see in old games. Uh, Was it a billion bolts or do bolts bounce that, bounce that much? I think it was at a weird angle where the bolts were bouncing a lot. A gun with one bullet, yeah. Uh, there's some reports that the suppressive fire of rebels is just like hacker auto aim. Uh, that's not how it's supposed to be set up. No, suppressive fire doesn't aim directly at targets. So, um, if there's a way to like replicate that or demonstrate it, then that's a bug that needs to be fixed. Um, otherwise, uh oh, they've been spotted. Okay, I want my trip mines. Trip mine here. Trip mine here. I want uh, that guy. Um, no, fall back, fall back. Oh man. No, don't shoot the temporal. Cr okay. Get out of the way. Okay. I'm also ignoring the temporal crab because I'm more worried about the rebels. Oh, I've been teleported. Oh! So technically the temporal crab uh, doesn't actually teleport, it is translocating you through time. So I, you know, I skipped to an, uh, a later point in time when I was hit by the temporal crab. Um, that was a calculated energy ball, I know, right? That was a good shot. I feel like I'm gonna get shot out in the open when I finally peek to get equipment. They can teleport? Yeah, I mean, technically, they're they're not teleporting. They're slipping through time. So it looks like they teleport from your point of view because, uh, because they're going either, like, forward or backwards in time. The temporal crabs are, like, four-dimensional. Look at all those bullets. Look at that. I wonder if temporal crabs would be more fun or just annoying if they hit you more often because they usually never have a chance to. Yeah, 
That one only hit me because I was focused on the rebels. So it is interesting. I, I like this gun. You're gonna you're gonna use that gun. Okay. I would give this guy an M16 because it looks cool, but I want him to be able to use. Well, usually only elites can use air two balls. I think this guy might have alternate fire privileges. I'm not sure. I'm gonna give him an M16 just for the cool factor. Let's go. Hey, Matino's burritos. Hi, Vizzies. Temporal crabs, the pit are designed to distract the rebels here. Yeah, I think that was actually a really good design because I, I did pick up on that and I threw some grenades to open the crates and I thought it worked really well. Uh, I really like those kinds of encounters. I think it's a lot more interesting than just a, a, a straight shootout between two sides. Badass weapons. Yeah, exactly. They've got the Counter-Strike drip. Uh, I don't want to leave my guys behind. Let's see. Where Where do I go? Where's the... Is this the way forward? Yeah, that looks like the way forward. Let me go get my guy. Hello? Can this guy jump? I feel like he should be able to jump up here if you uh, if you clip the boxes and put nodes on them. But it is really hard to get the positioning exactly right, so we'll, we'll go the long way around. I was saying hi to Vizzy's. I've been here the whole time. I realized it just a second too late after I said hi. That's awkward. Counter-Strike Zero. Yeah. This looks like too tight quarters. I feel like I'm going to get ambushed. There's a vent here. Interesting. Looks like there might be multiple paths here. Wait, does this door open? Yeah. Uh, I think this... Okay. 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 This reminds me of uh, C22. Set temp crabs to lower hate with players uh, and... 255 with rebels. I mean, it doesn't have to be 255 with AI relationship. Uh, so I'll pick rebels first. Yeah, you could do that. I think it worked okay the way it was set up. Um, but let's see. I want my guys to wait here while I go through the vent. Uh, but yeah, no, you can always use uh, relationship priority to, to change like who they'll prefer to target. Ooh, who's that? Uh, hi, the guy in slippers. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Uh oh. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, no. <laughs> I think we removed a puzzle like this from, uh, Easy 2 Chapter 5. I made the one in C2 3. I can't remember why that other one was removed, and there's one in Chapter 6 too. Yeah, the classic Half-Life 2 minefield, or Half-Life minefield. So nervous. Okay. Quick save. Try breaking the glass. No, that's bulletproof glass. Okay. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm committed. <laughs> this is... I made my choice. Minefield, my detested. Hi, <laughs> Dova Quartz. Welcome. The old Nemesis thing was great with Gold Source. Well, it wasn't very flexible, but yeah, I agree. I, I always like to see like NPCs that have like other priorities besides just fighting the player. It's it's really cool. Did the exact same thing. He chose Timber's way. Uh, can you detonate them from the vent? Probably, but, uh, I don't know. I'm committed. My goodness. Oh! Okay. Here we go. Am I gonna make this? I'm just gonna... Yo! Okay. This is very tense. This is getting more and more complicated as I'm, like, avoiding the, the easy ways out. Ah! That's hilarious. 
was removed for pacing reasons. Uh, just like everything was going on in Spencer's music. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. I remember playtesting that now. I think people got like really stuck with it too, or they try to like bring Wilson through the minefield. Wait, the guy in slippers. Do you have another name? I feel like I feel like that's an alias that I've seen before. The guy in slippers 3D. Wait, is that is that CW 3D? Oh, thanks for joining, CW. Sorry, I didn't recognize uh, the guy in slippers. It's good to see you here. I knew, I was like, that name looks familiar. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think this is as far as I can get without breaking the glass. Um, Yeah, sorry, I forgot. Oh, yeah, totally fine. A lot of people I notice have different Twitch names than their other names on other platforms, which I think is kind of funny. I've kind of lost sight of where I'm trying to go here. Um, I can't go through there. Ow. Ow. Okay. Jump while ducking and save. No, I'm not gonna cheese it. I wanna, I wanna win fair and square, but I don't know if that's possible. You know, to pass that part without jumping, all slam. Was it the glass again? I think so. I was trying to avoid shooting the glass because, I, as a player, I would never think to shoot this glass just because it's using the bulletproof texture. But that might be the only way. I think, I think you're right that that's the only way. I see W from YouTube. <laughs> I don't know why Breadman, but that just made me think of like that it's kind of mean meme format where they're like, "Hi CW from YouTube. Hi that guy in slippers from Twitch." Uh, ooh. that's not good. And I can't fix this by uh, changing the difficulty setting. Oh, okay, that one. That was my bad. Ow. I really appreciate Bad Cop's Ragdoll. I think it adds it adds so much comedy value to the game. I know it's kind of it's it's a little bit of a immersion break because it's like you your point of view separates from the body, but uh I always thought it was cool. Um uh Dang. Let's see, so I can't, let's see, I can't just go, wait, maybe, okay. Ah! <laughs> I tripped on a prop. <laughs> Sent from my iPhone. <laughs> I was able to survive all the slams exploding here. If worse comes to worse, try exploding it from behind the set of I don't want to cheat. Oh. Okay, sorry. I've lost my touch now. I, I want to actually get through the maze without cheating. I might have to cheat, but I really want to see like the actual path. Source engine moment, powered by source. So, red, oh, oh. <laughs> I just watched the explosion kind of come towards me. Um, Breadman, since you've been working in Unity lately, how is that like how do you feel about source right now given that you've been doing a lot of more unity work are you, do you feel like you're like wow that engine is so old i'm so glad i have newer tools are you frustrated by things in unity um i've been doing just a tiny bit of unity lately uh and it's a really hard adjustment for me to be honest It's funny to imagine the rebels spent multiple hours setting up the explosive, but also creating a path for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, 
I'm clearly not doing this right. Vent above you. There's a vent? No. I mean, I would say no backseating, but I think we would have been here for like uh, an hour. Oh, you mean the vent that I came from? I don't want to do that. That's not, that's not good. I mean, I guess, but vent above you. Yeah, I think you mean the vent that I came in through, right? Uh, the prop cube can touch the slimes. Yeah, as long as it's not marked as debris, should be able to touch. Like, I wonder if that can do it. Okay, I, I missed. I'm not gonna go back for that. So Unity is like, if I have an idea, I can prototype it really quickly. Uh, I can make a lot of uh, progress in day in a day in Unity, but with source, it can take days or weeks, uh, months to achieve things. That's interesting because it's kind of like the opposite of what I would expect, you know, because when we're working with source, we're working with out of the box tools and gameplay that already exists and an engine that we're really familiar with. So I think it says a lot about Unity that you can prototype things quickly in it. Um, that, okay. Okay. So the vent, I'm already out of the vent. I'm already out of the vent. It's hard to translate 2D to 3D in these terms, but for example, say I can build a level up for Bat Blast in a weekend, but it took three months for each map. Yeah. Uh, I want to say you can make maps and source faster than that, but like, not usually. It takes a long time. Maybe there's a... Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna save here. Oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Um... What if I, okay, that I'm too fat. Map Labs Adam competitions want to have a word with you. Yeah, but like, that's a little bit different. That's the thing. It's like, yeah, I mean, you, you, you can make a map quickly, but, but like, that's not usual, like for, the kinds of maps that we make, we wouldn't typically be able to prototype the map idea that quickly. Uh, I had a deja vu when, when I looked up and it wasn't there. Wait, where, where what wasn't there? Uh, I also have scripts that do heavy lifting in engines, so that uh, stuff that generates procedurally that you don't have to worry about. Just procedural generation is so cool. That's something I think that works really well in Unity from the way that the Unity environment is set up that you can't really do in... Okay, come on. You can't really do that in Source because Source is a BSP-based engine. I'm, I'm like, I'm real stuck here. Uh, I can map quickly. Uh, I, you absolutely can. Uh, but if we're talking about the the kind of bar we were working towards, it took three months to get it done. Yeah, exactly. That's including like testing and polishing to some extent, right? Who needs this quick save when you have death? Quick death. Yeah, exactly. Um... Oh. <laughs> I love that perfectly cut uh, bad cop death sound. I just heard a little ah. Ah. Okay. Right. Yay. Grenades. Oh. Wait, how do I get my my boys? Yeah, the health chargers, I think those are from Black Mesa. Uh, Alan can correct me, but I uh, I really like this. I also like, wait a minute, this implies that it's using the Zen healing goo or the ant lines or something, which had sort of been my head cannon for the green goo in Half-Life 1, but it's a neat detail. 
You can blow up the trip mines now. Grenade the minefield, yeah. They're not from Black Mesa. Where are they from? I hear a like a pipe that burst or something. Oh, that's oh, it's a fire extinguisher. I like that. I'm taking point. Come on, guys. Let's go. Save Jesse. Save the game. I, I saved. I gotta run. It's been great watching this. I miss you. I'll catch up with you soon. Yeah, uh, I'd love to talk to you when you when you have time. Uh, but have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. I didn't expect to see you here. Fire extinguisher was sick. Yeah, I know. It makes me feel sad that we don't have fire extinguishers that do that in in our maps. Uh, but yeah, it was really good to see you, Breadman. Hope you have a good rest of your day or a good evening. Wait, what? Yeah, it'd be evening now. The Vortigaunts possess the turret. I love that. That was really cool, bringing back the Half-Life box. That was really neat. I, I was aiming that whole time with no ammo. That's so sad. This is a cool little like waiting area. Like I like this. Like the, the lobby with the TVs. This looks almost like a medical kind of place, like a waiting room. Uh, what's through here? Is this the way forward? Wait, I'm kind of lost. Oh, we got HEV suits. Oh, cool. Neat. I actually think that's a really cool detail. I love this. This feels very Half-Life. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, but... In a good way. Evening, yeah. Have a good evening. I thought about bringing back the HL1 Vox for C52A and C53. Yeah. I mean, when you th when you put it like that, the um, the Arbite uh, announcer voice is kind of like our version of that. Mondays, I feel you, cat. This guy is always doing a little shuffle. I'm not quite sure why. Ooh, aperture. This looks very kind of Portal Portal 1-esque with the uh, panels. Just thinking how neat that would have been for the box. Yeah. All right, CW, now we have to do uh, the, the announcer lines, but make them into the box lines where you just say one word at a time and then we combine them. So, so I can say my ass is heavy. Oh, I lost both of my guys. Not my guys. Send dudes. I'm in a fight, I need more men. I almost want to load my save because I lost my guys. That makes me really sad. I'm gonna keep going because, you know, uh, fair is fair. They, they died in, in combat, but Kind of wish I would have uh, kept them alive. I fizzle out of existence. <laughs> what? <laughs> Does that mean uh, you have to leave the stream? Or like from what I said? <laughs> Garfield, are you in Entropy Zero Two? What? I feel like I... Just the thought of doing my ass is heavy. <laughs> 
Or do you mean from how many words there would be? Because, yeah, I mean, potentially you need... I don't know how many words... How many words does the Half-Life box have? I feel like it's pretty limited. But I have no idea. Actually, it would be interesting to look in Half-Life and see how many words they recorded for the box. It's probably a lot. I think you're probably right. Oh, we're here. I remember this area. Before I lost my guys. Ooh. This is giving me Portal 2 aperture. Like, very much so. Um, with the fog and the these kind of vertical structures, and it's really cool. These maps look amazing, Ellen. Uh, there were some testers uh, try to bring all teammates to the end of the map. I probably would have done that, but I want to... I want this to be like a natural playthrough, so if I lost the troops in the course of playing, I think I should just kind of run with it. Technically, you can bring them all to the end of the map. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it'd be limited, but just looking at it, it seems tedious and hurts my brain. Yeah, it would be... I think the way that we did it was probably better, where we had bespoke voice lines for each thing. It probably sounds better that way, you know, rather than trying to splice everything. Oh! Uh, Oh, there's a, a rebel a brute medic with an AK-47. That's kind of cool. Healing a Vortigaunt. Okay, I kind of wish my guys... Okay, my guys are still alive. Good, good. I'm going to need them for that fight, honestly. I think I lost quite a bit of progress, but that's okay. I can probably do it better. Still considering doing a box like Overwatch uh, for your next deployment. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I think that would work really well for it. That would work really well for it. Why are they playing the Vort sapping sound for healing? I think they always play that sound. I got distracted. Oh no. No. Okay. See what I just did there? I did. I just noticed that Vort is charging to the rebels. You mean uh, like healing them? Yeah, the Vortigons do that. They'll heal uh, anyone in their squad that's friendly. I mean, well, in their squad would be friendly. I know there's still a guy over there. I heard him. I think the soldiers can take care of it, though. I don't think I ever caught that the sound I did just ended up replacing their healing sound outright. Yeah, when you put it like that, I didn't really think about this, but yeah, I guess they should have one sound for healing and one sound for sapping. Um, that's something we could have done, but I just, I don't think I ever thought of it, to be honest. I think the sound that you made I thought of as being like a general, like, fort energy sound, you know, for sapping or healing, just depending on who the target is, but it, it could probably sound different if they were charging up rather than sapping the shiniest boxes. Look at those boxes. Yeah, I wonder, maybe there needs to be a cube map here or something. Ice cubes. Okay, so I'm gonna save here. I know I need to break that crate when the fight starts. Um, these guys, actually, I'm gonna put them here. So they can take cover here. Maybe I can, uh... Maybe I can, like, uh... Kinda... So I wanted to admire the Portal 2 area. Again, whoa. Ice cave. Whoa. There we go. 
Oh. I'm taking this. This will go to, I guess, replace the Galil. Or, okay. Or, I guess, this can... You know what? Yeah, I'll just leave these guys. The HEV Rebels are so cool. That's just such a cool idea. HEV Rebels, neat. Yeah, exactly. Even played the flatline sound. I think that's the flatline sound from the, uh, um... The HEV zombies. Where did we even get that sound from? I don't remember. Um, but I, I love it. It sounds awesome. Is that the actual flatline? It sounds a little bit different than the HEV flatline from the game from Half-Life 2. Yeah, I think Lambda might have made that sound. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to get ambushed. It directly used the HEV sentences remain in easy too. Oh, interesting. We're going to close that for now. Ooh, another recording box. Those ships that were sent outside to investigate, many of them have completely lost contact with us. And those who are lucky enough to come back, the intel they've brought back inspires no optimism in us. The world outside has been completely conquered by the Combine. Aperture Science, Black Mesa, both of them in America, uh, like America, have become dust and ash to history. We're completely on our own. There's only us left now. Wow. I really like these recording boxes, the the kind of the world building and the tone that they strike. Um, it's something that was in the uh, Arbet comms logs, but not really directly and easy to. Uh, and I think that is a good, uh, something cool to explore in the story. This looks interesting. A little different texture work in here. Soldiers is dead. Shoot. Oh, there was an aperture turret over there. Oh, there's another one. So this guy, what am I? We're just gonna give this gun away, I think. I wish one of the rebels would drop a saw for the combine soldier to use. That'd be cool. Okay, so that's not the door. This is cool. It's a cool screen, and I like the, uh, bringing back the aperture computers. Very nice. That's something we didn't see a lot in Easy 2, or at all, really. I like these turrets. This one doesn't have the rebel markings on it, I don't think. It's just the military, the camo. That's cool. Got some offices. It's a shame that we can't make our own map-specific sentence file in MapBase. Yeah, um, I think sentences, most of what you want to do with sentences, you can do with scenes now. 
Although you also can't really use scenes in responses in custom files, excuse me. So that is a problem. Uh, most of what you can do with sentences, you'd want to do with scenes now. But either way, it is kind of an issue that you can't... Because um, if you make a scene, you can't bake it into the scenes.image file unless you replace the game's scenes.image file. And then um, uh, you can't use it in responses if it's not in the scenes.image file. I don't have a good solution for that yet, but that's something we should probably think about. I wonder where the sunlight imitation bulbs are. I don't see him around. I was working on a new framework for sentences a few months ago, although it'll uh, be a while before that's ready. That'll be cool. I, I know we talked about it, but I kind of forgotten about that because it was so long ago. Oh! Those air two balls. You can play that game. That's so cool. They resisted that one. Those balls are a big problem, I know, right? Big problem. Neat detail. Yeah, I love the fire extinguishers. They're so cool. Let me just... Let me just... Yeah, that's so cool. It's probably just a funk breakable with a particle, right? But it's such a neat effect. It's very creative. Why didn't we do that? Now that you say that, like, because it's not even like it needed a different model, you know, it's just, um, it's just a funk breakable that's invisible. It's, it's easy. Yeah, we totally could have done that. Now I feel kind of silly. That looks ominous. Some ammo. I bet we're gonna hear the Vox again because there's a camera. HEV charger, nice. It's the one thing Parasynical complained about in his vid on Easy Two. Wait, what was? Uh, next update: working fire extinguishers. Yeah. We're going to go through every single map and change the maps to add fire extinguishers. I feel like something's about to happen here. Uh-oh. Mass cache corruption. Okay, so I think these symbols... I don't recognize the one on the top left, but the bottom one is from Snowdrop Escape. Okay, we got some zombies, and... Uh, a red fizzler. We didn't use the fire extinguisher model very often. Yeah, you're right. Anomaly detected. Oh. Is that it? No, no, no credits. Now, let's see, is, was that both of the maps? Or do I need to click this one manually? Okay, oh, I see, so that was uh, chapter one, right? And then you're working on chapter two? Yeah, I didn't actually notice the level transition. That's why I was confused, I'm like, is this? Wait, so uh, have I already played through C1M2, or do I need to start C1M2? Because I don't remember any uh, level transitions. I think I was just so immersed I didn't notice a level transition. 
Because this looks like the area that we were just in. So just to be totally clear, I already played C1M2, right? I think I did. Let me... Revision 01B. Yeah, I think Revision 01B is this one, right? I think that was the end. Yeah. That, the 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 ending kind of startled me because there wasn't any like kind of outro or credits or anything but i'm very interested uh i like what you're doing with the world building a lot um trying to connect different mods uh trying to tie back in with the arbite communications logs more and talk about glados and aperture i think it, it gave the add-on like a very um more of a somber tone you know um focusing on the post-apocalyptic elements of the setting uh, since it's 3 a.m. for me, I'm going to go sleep now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you watching. Uh, and thanks so much for making this and publishing it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed playing through it. Um, I've been having a lot of fun. I don't know if it looks like I'm having fun, but I am having fun. I think this is a wonderful uh, map, map pack. Uh, the other logo was Antarctic Sciences. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I don't want to die by a heart attack. Yeah, uh, definitely. Get, get some sleep. But uh, thanks again for thanks again for uh, for uploading this. It's been a really good uh, experience. Um, let me see here. Um, just checking on a few things before we wrap up here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do a Twitch raid today. I'm still getting the hang of those, uh, you know, the best ways to do raids and stuff. Uh, I think we're good without one. Yeah, so closing thoughts on Revision Chapter 1. Beautiful map. I love the detailing. Uh, I loved the uh, combat encounters, like especially the ones with the temporal crabs and like the creature crates where you could like break the crates to distract the enemies. I thought the use of uh, the Counter-Strike weapons was really cool. Uh, let's see, what track do I want? Uh, maybe... This one? It's good. It's a little bit too ominous, though. We just do, like, uh... We'll just do... Yeah. Um... So, yeah, I like the encounters. I like the idea of the HEV Rebels. That was really unique. Um, and it's just a lot of fun to play through add-ons like this. I definitely recommend it for anybody. Um... I just remembered that I was recommended to play offline. Um, is the creator of offline still here? I could, because we're, let's see, we're an hour and 36 minutes in. I could play offline before we wrap up stream. Yeah, mozzarella, what do you think? Do you think I should try it out? Because I, I don't mind. If you want. I should make a map. Yeah, you should, Vizies. Um, it's so wonderful to see all these different takes on Entropy Zero Two and more map content. You know? Uh, it's just a lot of fun. So I think if I go here, right? Um, which one of these is offline? I think it's this one. Here those. That should be good. I'm gonna have to close this. Check Discord for a really short lore aneurysm. Uh, okay. Um. 
I don't have access. I'll have to look at that later. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I can play... Uh, Mozzarella, how long would you say it should take to play offline based on your testing? Like, is it like half an hour, an hour, two hours? Because um, I don't think I can do a two hour map, but if it's like half an hour, I could definitely play that now. I think that would work pretty well. I'm going to get started with it. So now, uh, instead of revision chapter one, we're going to be playing offline. Um, maybe I can. Uh... Sorry, this is a little bit scuffed. Just messing with my OBS here. Wouldn't be more than ten minutes. Uh, I'm gonna play offline first. Sorry, sorry, Magpie. I think uh, that one I, I, I've been wanting to play that, so I'm gonna play offline playing offline. Offline. Um, I wonder if this will save as two separate videos on YouTube or if it will just say that the whole thing is offline. That's not good. Um, so offline is here. Uh, you don't have VNS, so the map is HMAP01005. Yeah, no worries. Um, so that is this one. Yeah, uh, let's give it a try. We'll see if it takes too long. I might have to split that off into a different stream, but I don't think I don't think that'll be a problem. Uh, I think this should be OK. So you said there's no BNS, so um, map, H map. I don't think you like it that much. I think I will love it. So we're just gonna get started here. Uh oh. Don't panic. I think this is my fault. Uh, maybe it wasn't fully installed. Uh oh. Did you use any asset packs or anything like that? Let me eat quick. Just gonna try reinstalling that. Oop. Gonna delete that and then subscribe. Yeah, did you do you have any other add-ons installed that might be necessary? Like um add-ons that might have like a texture that you used or something like that? Um, if there's any, any add-ons that you had when you uploaded it that might, uh, have that texture. I think so. Let's give it a try. So we do map uh, hmap01 underscore 005. Yeah, it looks like that ceiling texture is probably missing. Do you want me to try to play through anyways, or should I save it for another time? Because I don't mind. Uh, it's like I don't have any weapons or anything. Might be intentional. Don't play it. Yeah. We can play it another time. No worries. Uh, not a problem. We can we can play that a different time. Let's see.
So, Magpie, you, you sent something in Google Drive. I'm a little bit confused. Is that something that you wanted me to play through, like a map? How, um... How would that even be installed? Is that something you want me to put in my custom folder, or like... Oh, thanks for following. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gordon Freeman. Wow, the real Gordon Freeman. Uh, thanks for following. Glad to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Gotta head out. Good talking to you. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, CW. It's been good. Uh, it's a map that you've been working on. Drop it in the easy to directory. Okay. Um, sure, we'll, we'll give it a shot since we have time. And it's not going to take too long. Might as well. So. So I'm actually going to put this in my workshop add-ons folder because it should get mounted the same way, basically. This will be treated like a workshop add-on, like it has your maps, models, materials, that sort of thing. So that should, that should be fine. Uh, do you have any special instructions, Magpie? Uh, hi, Soldier Zombie123. Install CSS. Yeah. Oops, what does this say? Uh, sorry. Um, or don't if you don't want to clean up these files. Yeah, I just put it in the workshop add-ons. Hi, Gildan. We're playing a work in progress add-on uh, by Magpie. We already finished uh, revision chapter one, and uh, now we're we're playing something else. Uh, what's the map called? Easy to uh, no astronaut, is that it? Uh, AI disabled. Is there, oh, I know. Uh, you probably didn't have node graphs. Uh, what's that, like AI, no rebuild, graph, zero. Node graph out of date rebuilding. Oh, what's that? That's interesting. So wait, if I... Something hit me, and I heard like a pit drone sound. So it looks like we're in like, uh... Looks like we're in the canals, but it almost looks like a prison cell, but it's not. Um... Zombie ghosts leave this place. Okay, so I got my suit. Oh. Something's happening. So I got uh, the USP. It looks like I might be a Metro cop. This is the, uh, yeah, this is the model from chapter zero. Oh, the camera works. That's nice. This looks familiar. This is like a breaching charge, right? Overwatch, I found some kind of secure checkpoint. Oh. I'm actually kind of confused if I am a Combine Elite or a Metro Cop in this. Oh, they're using Blind Fire. That's cool. Okay. This feels very, like, ready or not. Yeah, so I am a canonically a Metro Cop. Okay, so we've established that now. Where's the zombie ghosts? Wait, did I just respawn? Wait. Wait, what? 
I think I respawned. Right? Is anyone else seeing that? Or like, am I crazy? What? Rest Why would I? Okay, I'm confused. Real confused. I forgot respawn is on. How do you forget that respawn is on? <laughs> it's like not a normal feature. Overwatch. Testing with respawn on. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. So I'm gonna respawn, okay. Maybe I should bind something to restart. This is the first map of a campaign. It's gonna be really interesting. Overwatch. I found some kind of secure checkpoint. Overwatch copy. Shit. Got hit by a zombie ghost again. Lots of quick saving, yeah. Oh, there's a vent here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What was that? Oh, I like how he threw a grenade at the crates. That's cool. It's a good way to introduce pit drones. Oh, he's blind firing. Those blind fire animations are so cool. Ed Cop is scared of toilet, so he had a panic attack. And flush stinger. Huh. There's first time for everything. I don't trust this at all. What the fuck? So what now? What the fuck? I'm really confused. So, this animation doesn't make sense because there is one bullet in the gun. Oh, okay. I have no idea what's going on right now, I'm gonna be honest. Elevator? Hello, anonymous acoustic. Looks like it was a Metro Cop. I I don't understand. Oh, uh, hey, XD, XD, XD. Welcome. I like this so far. I, I think I like it. I just don't have a lot of context to what I'm playing. It's kind of confusing. The gunplay is definitely making things like ready or not. You know, it's a lot of like corners and quick like reaction shooting. Oh, I didn't look the right way. Oops. I missed a whole scene. That's so sad. I hear Counter Strike guns. 
Oh, oh, okay, I'm interested. Whoa. Whoa, what is this? There's a crab synth, there's mortar synths, there's an APC. There's that person definitely wants to get in this elevator. Okay, I'm interested. They hear the G-Man? Clone cop was here, I guess? Oh, no, it was just that guy. Uh-oh. Citadel sounds. Bleh! Okay. Oh. It's like alien. I recognize that sound. go down there the body is gone okay so we've got like a shadow walker kind of situation going on oh it's up there the body is how did it get there that's kind of weird I don't think freaky is gonna happen I know it's gonna hurt me if I get closer, but there we go. Oh, the um, the actual zombie goo puddle follows the ragdoll. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Hmm. We got a bad feeling about this. Oh, okay. I wanted to set it on fire first. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't think that one through. Okay. 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 Where are we going? Where, where are we dropping? Okay, here we, here we go. Maybe I just do this. It's not very clear to me what things are interactable versus what things aren't interactable. Like, this looks the same as this, but this one I'm supposed to click on. You could have shot the button and check locker. Check locker, what? Yeah, I guess I would have. I guess I missed that. over oh, okay it's so over uh, this is really interesting I don't really understand like what's going on in the story but I'm really curious about it like I, I would like to play this um, I think there's a lot of really interesting ideas here I like seeing the new NPCs uh, we love to see it uh, locker Wow Let me check something a second. One one moment here.
I think there might be someone on a raid starting pretty soon. So I'm thinking like, can I, can I pad for time for like three minutes to get, to get that raid in? Maybe. Um, what else do I want to show right now? Um, yeah, I just want to talk about the maps that I played, uh, for a little bit. Intro fire, uh, end fire intro roll part one XX trigger. Wait, what's that? You commented out the intro fade. Wait, what's that? I think if there is a small section before how the map currently starts, there would be a better time to explain. Yeah, I think since this is work in progress, you know, like it's not. Um, did I already get that? Am I crazy? I feel like. Oh, it's because I died. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in the context. This is work in progress. so I wouldn't expect it to make sense yet, you know. Um, I, I'm, I really hope that you're able to release this, uh, magpie, because I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, okay. there we go. The shootable buttons are interesting too, although so it is still kind of hard to see, like, when you can interact with things and when you can't. So let's see. It's supposed to do ent fire intro roll part. 1xx. Oh, trigger. Oh. Overwritten. Remote unit overwrite complete. What does that mean? I'm kind of interested in that. So is that suggesting that you've sort of been remotely controlled by a bad cop? Because I think that could be that, that could be an interesting premise for a story. I'm not, or I'm not sure if the voice lines for bad cop are intended to be there, or if you're supposed to be a different character. Yeah, I'm really interested. So you get thirty six fifty and someone else. That's going to be a really interesting concept. And again, with the new NPCs and with the sort of like the uh, anomaly goo creature. I don't know what to call that. That, that, that body that was teleporting around. Um, I think that's going to be really interesting. Um, so yeah, I really hope you're able to keep working on it and I do want to play it more because uh, I'm very interested. Uh, maybe I should talk for a little bit about the, uh, the workshop map pack that I've been working on. I haven't made much progress since the last stream. Um, I think it's starting to come into clearer relief for me because um, uh, I've been working on different vignettes for it, like different scenes that I think would be important for the add-on. Um, I think I'm almost to a point where I need to focus more on the overall structure and then focus more on like what can I test, what can I get in front of playtesters. So I haven't planned my next mapping stream yet, but I think there's a few more important sort of vignettes for that add-on that I'm going to work on and then I need to kind of put the pieces together and make a build that you can play through all the way. Um, uh, so one of the, how do you rate revisions work with lights? With lights? Um, lighting isn't my strongest suit, but I really liked their use of volumetrics. Um, I liked uh, some of the projected textures. It wasn't used a whole lot, but where it was used it was cool. Um, uh, the interior areas were, I mean, the lighting was generally, it was pretty well lit and kind of flat, but it makes sense for that kind of office environment. So that's not a bad thing. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Um, I didn't have any issues with the direction. Um, so I think lighting was probably pretty good at like motivating the player, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, um, but yeah, that's a good question. I think what interested me the most was like the uh, the use of the Counter Strike weapons and the HEV uh, rebels. I thought that was a really cool uh, addition. I think it would have been neat if we could have used some HEV suits somewhere in Easy Two because we do have the HEV zombies. Like, um, actually, why don't I go ahead and uh, see. Uh, no. So we have like this zombie skin that has like an Arbite uh, HEV suit. 
I think it would be cool to see that kind of HEV suit around. Any plans for a stream on the Arbite Airport Workshop add-on? Uh, no, because um, I've already played it. But uh, I could, um, if that would be interesting. You know, I think that might be uh, might be fun. Who was the voice for the assassins? So this voice is kind of a uh, sort of placeholder, um, but it's for the assassin NPC in Easy 2, and it was done by CW, uh, and it sounds excellent. Um, I think CW used uh, maybe his voice mod or maybe another piece of software to do the the filtering for the assassins. Uh, I think it sounds really good. I believe all the voice lines for the assassins were written by Blix. I was making an Arbite suit prop at one point, but I lost the files. Aw. Uh, I think that would have been really cool. Because we do, like I showed earlier, we have this model. Um, and I think you could probably use the, um, like the Survivor HEV suit with this texture. We should have published a version without the blood if that doesn't already exist in the files. Um, yeah, I could stream more workshop add-ons at some point. Uh, I don't know. I kind of I, I plan these streams as they come. Like I saw that revision was out on the uh, on the workshop, and I really wanted to play it, so I planned the stream right away. Uh, I hope the assassins will appear in the next game. Um, you never know. You know, maybe. Time time will tell. Uh, oh, I didn't start any NPCs yet. Um, planning to wrap up stream soon? Yeah, I'm kind of stalling for time because I was hoping to raid out to somebody, but I'm not sure if that's going to work or not, actually. So I'll probably, I'll probably wrap up stream. I think, I think so. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, didn't the assassins have uh, special voice lines for killing bad cop? I'm sure they do. Um, that's something that we would have we would have wanted to do in the responses. Um, and you know the voices are gonna change a lot too if they are ever used. Um, but uh, these voices they definitely would have like a special voice line for a player killed. Like you can you can see them used in this map both as allies and as enemies if you want them to be. You know, so I can like have a squad of assassins and I can also fight assassins. That'll actually be kind of interesting. I've, I've never tried doing uh, assassins versus assassins. When they say 3650 expunged, they're actually bragging that they expunged 3650 enemies. <laughs> Uh, Soldier Zombie 123 is now following. Thank you. Thanks for following. I'm glad you could stop by today uh, to watch some workshop add ons. That was cool.
Shame I got in late, but cool stream. Thanks. Yeah, I'm glad you could stop by. Um, I hope you were able to see the last part of Revision Chapter 1, but if not, uh, there is going to be a VOD on my YouTube channel if you want to see the map. Or, I mean, you can also play it for yourself on the Steam Workshop, for sure, and I highly recommend it. It's very good. That was the first time I heard them say Bouncer. I liked the, uh, the delivery of that. They keep count. Yeah, they. I'm sure they do. All right. Um, so I think I should probably wrap it up here. Uh, but thanks for watching, everyone. Um, hope you liked Revision Chapter 1. And uh, keep an eye out for announcements uh, for new, new streams. I'm not sure what I'll be doing next, um, but I'll probably be streaming some more mapping or maybe some more programming for Easy 2. Um, uh, if you want to keep up to date, I put a link to a uh, Discord server in, in my Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, you can go check out the Twitch channel to see a link to the uh, Discord server. I uh, would love to have you. Uh, Discord isn't super active right now, but I use it for announcements and posting videos, things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, hope you have a really good rest of your Saturday, um, and I will see you next time. <laughs> I... T does bad cop have girlfriend? His wife is dead. Guys. Have a good one. <laughs> thanks for thanks for watching. Bye-bye.